You're watching Middle Georgia Pride, only on 41 NBC News at 6. Woody Hurd says he rarely shares his heroic stories of his times in World War II. In fact, he says many of his friends don't even know he served in the Army and in the Air Force. However, this humble hero who calls Warner Robins home has many war stories. Reporter Shelby Coates has more. Those who know Master Sergeant Oliver Woody Hurd say they don't make men like him anymore. After sharing an afternoon with Hurd, it's easy to see why people say that about this 84-year-old hometown hero. Hurd always wanted to enlist in the U.S. Army. His desire caused him to leave school early and run away from home. I asked him not to tell them where I was at because I was going to get in service somehow. At 17, he was too young to enlist, so he had to wait one year. Then he joined the Army at the height of World War II. Eisenhower went on and uh, said that uh, we were getting ready to go, which we knew. Hurd's infantry was sent to Europe right away to replace the first group that had arrived in England. None of us were scared at all, really. I'm not, that sounds weird. But that mission quickly changed, and Hurd was rerouted to fight in the famous Battle of Normandy on Omaha Beach. If you saw as many many guys laying on that laying in the water when we when we hit the beach there was bodies laying all over the place while fighting for the freedom of others heard was injured in battle they were what they called 88s and they made a whining noise before they would hit the ground and shrapnel would fly everywhere i got hurt pretty bad as far as my leg was concerned they took me uh, to a French hospital. That injury didn't stop her. His never say quit attitude pushed him to re-enlist in the Army, but the Army said no and he was discharged. I was out about five years and then I re-enlisted re in the Air Force. From fighting in the front lines, becoming injured, but still returning to service, Hurd is truly an American hero, but he's too humble to say those words. And I just thank the God that I'm still here. And while many here in Warner Robins celebrate him as a hero, he says he was happy to serve his country and return home. In Warner Robins, Shelby Coates, 41 NBC News. Hurd is originally from Delaware, and he first came to Warner Robins while serving in the Air Force. When he retired, his wife and sons loved Warner Robins so much that they returned. And when Hurd's wife died of cancer, the community truly supported him. And the family says Warner Robins truly is a hometown to them.